What's up, y'all? Welcome back to some more police simulator patrol officers. We are back on the beat, back on the street, back on the job, baby. Time to get out there and uh, keep on doing our thing. So we're still here in Chester. You guys know last episode we had our, our first ever like accident whole shebang with, with you know, frisking people and doing tests and all kinds of stuff. We, uh, we didn't do the, the best job we possibly could. I see a taxi cab that's way out of line. Let me just go ahead and call a, a tow truck real quick. Towing. Beautiful. All right, and love it. Send a record of my current location. We'll take some time, but we'll take care of it in the next 24 hours. All righty, I appreciate you. Y'all just get to it when you when you can get to it. Let me check. These guys are in good taxi stand. Yep, looks good to me. Oh, here we go. We're on it. Time to roll out, baby. Time to get after it. So, yeah, you guys know last episode... In our third shift, we had our first ever, like, pretty major event that we had to take care of. We did some things kind of out of order. Probably could have gone a little bit smoother. And, and because of that, we lost some points and lost some XP. And we um, we ended up not, not being able to level up in that episode. But we're going to be fine. We'll work it out. We're going to hit the streets again today. We're going to take care of business and, and make sure we get it done. It does look like we've got reporting speeders as a bonus today. I'm going to go ahead and give this guy a quick ticket on our way to the thing parking on the sidewalk but uh yeah we're, we're just we're gonna roll around we're gonna see what we can do and we're very close to having enough xp to be able to level up to the next uh next objectives and next you know abilities and equipment and stuff like that oh see this this would have been nice to be to be thrown into to, to start things off on site i'll start clearing up the accident perfect okay so first things first let me let me talk to the 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 people here i'm gonna go ahead and interview i'm still recovering from the crash my mind is blank. Let me ask ID for your ID first. If available, proof of insurance, please. So this is uh, Ella Davis. It's expired. You can issue a ticket or leave it with the verbal warning. Interesting. Expired on March 5th. It expired two months ago. I, I, I think that's a little bit long. I understand that sometimes we can be a little bit lazy in getting those things fixed, but you're, you're taking a bit too long. So she's got the white van behind us. 0VC194. I'm going to issue her a violation for the driver expired ID. I'm gonna give her a ticket. To issue you with it's been two months. Come on. Expired ID. That will be between seventy-five and one hundred and fifty dollars. So much money for such a small infraction. Well, you got to make sure your paperwork's up to date. All right, I'm you gonna let you go for the moment. Drive safe and have a nice day. Oh, she's gonna. Oh no 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 no! Hold on! Stop, ma'am! Stop! Stop! I didn't take pictures. I didn't take pictures. Okay, we are all sorts of messed up. Let me go ahead and take a picture of that. Let me take a picture of you. Let me take a picture of the damage. Now the thing is, in most situations, when somebody has rear-ended somebody else, like 99% of the time, it's the person behind us at fault. I don't know how, like, I, I don't want to let her go, but I also don't know how to be like, all right, hold on here for a minute while I talk to the other person. You know what I mean? Let me go ahead and take some, some photos of the damage here. Go ahead and get all that. Beautiful work. Try to get the back of the car as well. Looks like, was there some damage over here? Ah, some side swipes. Okay, looks good to me. Let me talk to you and see what you got going on here. ID Ask for your ID. If available, proof of insurance, please. Here you go, officer. So this is Mateo Brown. Expires 3-30-2020, so he is also expired here. I'm going to have to give him a ticket as well just to keep things fair. Keep a close eye on your intuition messages. You are now allowed to search him and his car because the intuition message, fake insurance. Why do we think his insurance is fake? Pick up for Mateo Brown, Mateo Brown. Where? I'm going to give this back. I'm going to ask him about what happened. My mind is... Blank. I'm gonna issue him a violation for uh, for an expired ID. Let's go ahead and give I him a ticket as well. Keep it fair. For your expired ID. We're gonna run some DUI tests. Just routine things. Nothing to be scared of. Nothing to be worried about. I don't know how we had the intuition that the insurance was fake, but um, I guess we'll see. So we blew a 0, 0.0. That's surprising. I'm gonna do a drug test as well. Just routine here, sir. Happens with every infraction. Nothing to see here. THC and amphetamine. Oh, I see what we did wrong. It's saying no THC, no amphetamine. We really messed up that first accident. Okay, it's all right. We're learning. That's that's what matters. Now, it did say that we're allowed to, to do full searches here. No items found. I'm going to do a full search then. If we can do a full search, I'm going to do a full search. Probably could have just done the search instead of the 
frisk and search, but it's okay. He's got a pocketbook and a letter. I'm gonna give him a violation. No valid insurance. I'm ticket. issuing you a ticket because you don't have valid insurance. I don't have that much money. Well, you should have thought about that before you had fake, fake, you know, We're information. You're free to go. Have a nice day and take care. So we lost five conduct points. I guess we still did something a little bit wrong, but we, we definitely handled that a lot better than, than you know, our first one. So we'll, we'll take it. Definitely went a lot smoother. We got we to gotta appreciate that. Definitely, you know, kind of made made a bit more sense there we, we followed procedure a little bit better again we weren't perfect but we definitely did better without a doubt so we'll we'll take that it's all about improvements can't expect me to be perfect but we are gonna improve oh shoot i think we just came up on another accident all on our lonesome okay this must have just happened and we just happened to come across and look at that your boy doing top tier policing baby this is how we get it done all right so i'm gonna say i mean the, the the thing tells us not to but since we have to let somebody go i'm gonna say let's take photos first we're gonna take early photos make sure we get photos of all the damage before anyone gets in the way or does anything you know what i mean got a picture of the plate there We've got some scratches on the driver's side of the vehicle. My mustache is kind of coming off a little bit. You guys seeing this? Yeah, that, that, that sweaty upper lip. Okay, we're, we're going to be fine. All right, so we've got that. Uh, I guess let's interview the driver. She is probably fine. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to her really quick. Let's ID ask for an ID. If available, proof of insurance, please. Here you go, officer. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, let's see what you got going on here. Sandra Adams. Looking like she's good to go on her expiration date. She was born in 95. She is a donor. Love to see that. Not that it's, you know, means anything, but just it's, it's nice. It's got a four-door car. That matches up. License plate 9RZ653. Probably should have, uh, you know, kind of paid more attention to that when we were first looking. But um, everything looks good. Let me go ahead and give this back. I smell alcohol. Showing signs of strange behavior. If you're on safety, you're now allowed to frisk him or her okay interesting so i mean I, I, i'm i'm gonna start with a dui I, i'm gonna start with an alcohol test if i'm smelling it i'm gonna i'm gonna lead with that go ahead and blow into this for me ma'am 0.03 that's it's a decent amount it's under the legal limit but it's it's a decent amount i mean that's less than like one drink though she is on amphetamines though. Okay, so we've got the check mark there. We messed that up in our, our last episode. All right, uh, I haven't interviewed her yet. Well, you're not sober either, ma'am. I'm gonna go ahead and frisk you really quick. Let's see if we find anything on a quick, quick little pat down. Don't mind me, just cop it up. <laughs> She's got a cucumber. Ma'am, what have you been doing with this cucumber? Seriously, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cuff you and, and I, I I think I think I'm gonna have to cuff you for uh, uh, DUI driving under the I influence of amphetamine for driving under the influence of narcotics Please move on to the sidewalk got it right this time. Oh, come on. You must be kidding me Got it right this time. Okay, so we're gonna be able to call for an arrest. We know how this works I tried it in the last episode it uh, Unfortunately incorrectly because we didn't understand how it all worked, but we're, we're good to go All right, let me go ahead and uh, ask him I might have driven badly I'm sorry. I Might be under the influence officer. I don't know. Let me ID, see your ID sir if available proof of insurance, please Here you go officer Okay Let's See what we got going on so this is Mr. Ian Robinson. His expiration's looking good. Ian Robinson matches four door expiration 1026. We're good to go there as well. Okay, that all that all checks out. That all looks good. Let me go ahead and issue you your uh, your alcohol test as well as a THC test, an amphetamine test here. Hmm, point one one four. All right, looks like he's he's good to go there. I'm gonna give you a drug test as well. From what I can tell, this guy's just an idiot. Oh, he's under the influence of THC. Interesting. Well, I think that's gonna be worth enough for a frisk. Let's see what we got going on here. We gotta make sure we check old girl's car as well. Satin gloves and snacks. My man's got the munchies. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and handcuff you for driving under the influence of, uh, of I cannabis. I have to arrest you for driving under the influence of cannabis. 
please move to the sidewalk. You're a terrible cop. I mean, it did have the check mark next to cannabis, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna go ahead and search her vehicle, see if we find anything in here. He can't even get out of here. He doesn't even know where to go. Let me bring the dogs out. No items could be found. All right, you can go ahead and uh, and call this tow truck. I'm gonna imagine searching this vehicle is all, also gonna be good as long as he's under the influence. Although last time it told us we were a terrible cop, it was it was not not good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call a tow truck here as well. We're gonna send both of these two in. Go ahead and call a uh, a transport. Take a suspect into custody. Understood. We're sending the closest transport to your location. I'm gonna go ahead and, and do you as well. I, I I'm not sure about him. I because up to one ounce is legal, right? But you you can't be driving under the influence of it. I, I don't know what the law is. We gotta figure out what the actual laws are. We're gonna we're gonna find out here. It's not a big deal. This is so sick, dude. We've got the tow truck working in the background. You boys just taking care of business. I'm gonna try. Uh, I was gonna say I'm gonna try searching him. I don't know if we want to. All right, we got Dave and Dan coming in. Good old double D's. Time to time to take these little little dirty uh, rule breakers away. I'm gonna go ahead and get our radar gun out and see if we can catch some fools as well. Probably not gonna get the opportunity, dude. I gotta take I gotta take this off. It's so itchy. I I, I can't even do it. I'm gonna have to re put it on where it, it's not. It, I gotta put it lower on my lips so it's not like rubbing the the insides of my nostrils. Dan. Day in the man, let's go. Come on, dude. Let's go, thank you. All right, had to wait for the green light, I guess. So that's gonna bring uh, bring Dave in. Oh, this the, this is uh, Davina, actually. Okay, Davina, appreciate you. If I have to. He's gonna go ahead and walk away. He's gonna listen, and we, we just completed that accident 100% perfectly. Didn't lose any points at all. Our best one yet, let's go. Got them both, all right. The streets are officially safer. They have been swept. The criminal scum is no longer out there. They're sitting in a cold, hard cell. No parking 12 noon to 4 p.m. on Monday. Well, it looks like you were in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Let me go ahead and issue you a ticket for a special parking zone for street cleaning. All right. But th didn't it say street cleaning? I hope that was right. Nope, I was wrong. Does it not say street cleaning? Okay. Sometimes we get some weird errors, man. This this guy is on a crosswalk, but he's not supposed to be walking at this time. I don't know if that's counted as jaywalking. I'm not going to risk it. Shoot. We got two reds here. I'm trying to go somewhere to do something. We have no options. I feel like we lose a lot of conduct points in, in weird ways. I, I, I don't know. Maybe because he was past that sign. But I feel like being even closer to the intersection is, is even worse. Like, you're not supposed to park right next to an intersection. So maybe we should have hit him with that. Too too close. Was he next to a fire hydrant? Hold on a second. If he was close to a... I'm not even worried about it. If he was close to a fire hydrant, we could give him a ticket for that. I don't think there's, like, a rule. I, mean, I know in real life you aren't supposed to park next to intersections right like that but i don't know if there's a rule for it in this game so let's just keep on running around and, and see what we can find we've got ourselves another accident over here the triple trifecta well let's see what we've got going on okay i'm gonna go ahead and uh, and take some photos here this is this is great dude Oop. shifts over but i'm not going home i gotta i gotta take care of my people here this one looks like a really simple little fender bender this this might not take too long. I'm gonna talk to the one that's probably at fault first. We'll go ahead and ask about what happened. I'm shocked, officer. I have no idea what happened. Interesting. All right, let me see your ID. ID and if available, proof of insurance, please. Here you go, officer. Appreciate you very much. All right, take a look at this. Julia Wright, you look awfully similar to someone else I've seen around here. Julia Wright, expiration looks good. Expiration looks good. Okay. Go ahead and give that back. I smell alcohol. Interesting. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and do an alcohol test. I guess it could be on her or it could be on him. Let's see what we've got going on here. 0.015. That is not a whole lot. Let me try a drug test as well. No THC, no amphetamine. All right. I, I mean, I think we got to let her go. Drive safe and have a nice day. Hopefully y'all, you know, exchanged insurance information. And that was a weird way to get into a car. Let me, let me talk to this dude here. I'm still recovering from the crash. My mind is blank. I guess we probably could have given her her report ID a second ago. If available, proof of I don't think you have to give him the report, but... You go, officer. 
obviously they would want it for insurance purposes and stuff like that so it's it's best for us to do it andrew collins expirations looking good andrew collins everything's matching up four-door car all right all good to go let me go ahead and give this back we don't have any intuitions or anything like that i'm i mean might as well run these just because we can but i don't think we need them it looks like she just failed to stop in time and your insurances will will take care of it oh he's a 0 0.32 okay that's that's a bit more than i was you know expecting but it's okay no thc no amphetamine yeah you're gonna be you're gonna be good to go bro go ahead and give you the accident report your accident report oh, well, her insurance should cover it report. thank you officer no problem sir move along you're good to go have a good afternoon drive safe and have a nice day another picture perfect accident 46 points no conduct points lost let's go baby all right so we have definitely perfected the art of the traffic stop not really the traffic stop more more of the art of of the scene of the accident the art of the, the fender bender kind of got it down our, our first one yesterday was it's not great but we're, we're looking a little bit better now we, we know what we're doing this nice little park here dude i like this i we haven't really been over on this side of the map before so hey but it just you know kind of check out the uh other sides of town across the street from our uh, our work i guess okay so back here at the station feeling good definitely did a great job there that's definitely going to give us enough xp to be able to unlock our next set of uh you know abilities and equipment and, and calls and stuff like that feeling pretty confident that was that was a good day we're really starting we're starting to get it down we're starting to come into our own and, and do our thing here so let's see uh let's see where we went wrong it looks like we did have negative five conduct points on the one accident unjustified no valid insurance ticket so i guess we can't just trust our intuition Oh, we got a pull over sign. That's going to be fun. We can't just trust our intuition. Wanted suspect call out. Interesting. We've also unlocked the patrol car for this district. Select a patrol car shift to drive it. Perfect, dude. That's going to be so sick. And we got a new neighborhood. My goodness, so much stuff. So we got all that. We also gave an unjustified cleaning hours parking ticket. Maybe we were outside of the hours and I wasn't paying attention. Then I also uh, jaywalked. So overall super super solid day thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed i'm gonna see you guys in the next one we're gonna keep on grinding keep on doing our thing and uh i'll see you guys there